Hey everybody, it's uh, Ethan and I am doing a seven month on tea update. And I'm actually uh, seven months and one week tomorrow. Sorry I was late, but we've had a lot of things going on. My partner had shoulder surgery last week and prior to that we were at the doctors doing running tests and MRIs and all that kind of stuff. So <clears throat> anyway, nothing real serious. She just had to get some cleanup done in that shoulder. And uh, so once again, if you look at me and I look tired, I'm going through another fatigue session. I do this every few months because uh, of my thyroid. So I uh, always get a little puffy. Uh, my eyes look real tired. And I probably drag a little bit as I talk. So anyway, um, first, before we start updates, I want to show you a little bit more what I got for the San Francisco 49ers. Now, I've had this stuff, but you haven't seen it. So, look, and what is that? That, yes, that, is a San Francisco 49er golf bag. Now I got another thing my prize possession it's going to get dark here because i'm going to be facing the sun i mean not going to be facing the sun but i have got a special ordered hand painted train set and i'm gonna put it all together and put it in a casing and so here we go Exciting, isn't it? If you're a San Francisco fan, don't be hating. All you other fans, don't be hating. Um, I have probably about 10 pieces here, and uh, I'm going to put that all together and build a casing for it so that it can never get dusty. And, oops, sorry. And people can't touch it. And I'll have it a hole in the bottom where the electrical cord runs through and I'm going to have it hanging off the ceiling so that you can admire it from eye length but nobody's going to be touching that stuff it's expensive my niece and nephew already fight who's going to get it when I go on so um, anyway seven months on tea well physical changes uh, I still have I'm still getting a lot more hair uh, I don't know if you can see my arm or not. It's crazy. My hair stands up. Straight up. I wear a spike haircut. Have for years. And uh, I think my hair thinks it needs to spike up everywhere too. <laughs> but uh, a lot more hair. Uh, my stomach's getting hairy. My chest hair is coming in. Which will look really nice because it will hide the incisions until they disappear. And uh... I haven't checked the back side of me, but my partner says um, that I have a lot of back hair. I'm going to put some light in the room. There we go. I guess I should have done that when I was showing you everything else. So we got hair. I don't think my voice has dropped anymore. Um, I do find, though, when I try to project my voice, uh, it goes up some pitches and sounds like a girl, and I don't like it. I always ask my partner, do I sound like a girl? No. But anyway, uh, still passing. I've had two occurrences now where I didn't pass after top surgery. One was at Red Robin. The waiter called us ladies. And then I said, did he call us ladies? And then after that, he started saying guys. He heard me. Um, the second time was at the hospital when Tony was getting prepped for surgery. And I know I said her name. It's okay. Um, she, uh, the nurse, her nurse, uh, referred to me as she. And then when she looked at me and asked me my relationship to Tony, I said, I'm her husband. And uh, she kind of looked down at her paper, and it was he after that. So I couldn't believe it. Tony and I just kind of looked at each other and went, really? Like, what? But anyway, maybe I still look female. I don't know. 
Anyway, I've got these nice, comfortable breathing t-shirts, but they crawl up me. My body, I don't like it. Anyway, if you can see my chest, muscle-wise, you can finally see my pecs. See that? That's all muscle. My pecs finally show with no mounds of fat tissue. Anyway, haven't been to the gym in a couple weeks because of everything going on with uh, my partner. And, and so uh, I'm going to get back into that. She can't do anything for a little while. Uh, they repaired a bicep and cleaned out some bursitis or stuff like that, ACL. Shaved some of that off. And uh, so I'll be doing that by myself. Um, I'm going to start using my stimulator again and do as much cardio as I can. Um, my only fear is that I broke my foot and also strained a flexor tendon being on the stimulator because you can't feel anything. And for those of you who don't know, I'm disabled in my feet. I have a chronic plantar fasciitis with peripheral neuropathy, if you know any of those terms. It's nerve damage to my feet. So anyway, um, relationship. Let's talk about that. We're just getting better and better. It's, uh, I am very blessed to have a partner like I do. She loves me for who I am and the changes that I am undergoing, she loves. She loves to rub the hair on my body and she just really is excited for the changes as I am. And so uh, I can't, I cannot be more more blessed in my life than having her as a, my right hand person, the love of my life. Uh, <clears throat> I'd like to address something though. I've been watching some younger guys and they're saying how they're getting, ang their anger is showing more or their, their tempers are worse. And dudes, it's a myth. Okay, it's all a myth. Look at look up FTM resource guide. Look up myths. Does tea cause um, anger and all that? They'll tell you it's a myth. For people that feel that tea causes them to be more angry and more quick to react and all that stuff, it's you. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> if you nine times out of ten, I guarantee you probably had anger issues before. And my only suggestion is work on the things that upset you. Work on what you don't like. Um, understand that anger gets you nowhere. All it does is it, it puts you in a bigger predicament than you're already in. Because then you end up hurting people's feelings or you feel bad because you said something out of line or all that stuff. I'm telling you from experience. I grew up with two parents who were very young when they had five kids and they had tempers and it's learned behavior and <clears throat> I had to learn to control my temper. I self-inflicted for many years until I learned that it wasn't worth it anymore. Where am I, what am I gaining from it? But I will tell you what tea does. If tea is right for you and you're transitioning for the right reasons, sorry, you become more confident and as my partner tells me more assertive you don't have to put up with the bull anymore but there's a fine line in how you react to it step back take a deep breath before you react to anything that's my that's my best advice ever I'm not perfect either believe me uh, the person who can fire me up the most is my sister or my mom and uh, I try to step back and sometimes I don't make it and then you gotta say you're sorry and all that stuff and I don't like that either so just try to step back take a deep breath work on those things that got you angry before you even started tea because when you become a confident person and, and you've been held down in bondage like we have for years uh, sometimes you come out of the shell flying high and want to reach the sky and you ain't putting up with no bull but you gotta settle down. You gotta come back to reality and balance yourself and just keep growing as a person and be a good person. Enough said of that. 
So uh, muscle-wise on changes, um, again, I haven't been to the gym, but next update, I'm hoping to show you some more. Um, you know, I don't think... I already showed you my pecs here, and I don't, this is no gym. Once again, I, I'm i pretty solid um, kind of person. I'm a, I've got 11 inch forearms natural, 14 inch biceps natural. Uh, I'm 54 inches wide prior to T, I don't know what I am now. Um, as you can see my traps I still have some traps those are all natural right now and uh, my pecs those are not natural so can't wait till I start exercising working out now that I've got the uh, clearance <clears throat> I will do that and I'll show you guys anyway um, everything's going good uh, I'm hoping that my voice will drop even more I know I just love the bass I like the vibration in my throat um, oh, hair. I'm getting more chin hair. My dad never really could grow a mustache. And I feel it, but I don't see it. So maybe I'll be like him. My brother has a little one, but he's the blonder. Out of five, there's three dirty blondes and two darks. The first two were two dark-headed kids. So, um, and I'm the oldest. I've got the chin hair, of course. I see most people, you can hear it. I haven't shaved. I don't have anything here. I have some grown in here. They're straggly. But, um, like I said, I am thinning out on top, which is really a surprise even to my mother, because there's no balding in any men in the family. So, whether it comes from the mother's side or the dad's side, there's no balding. But my mom does have thinner hair, so maybe, maybe I'll lose some of it. Anyway, uh, everything's going good. Uh, we've just, my, Tony and I have gone through my surgery, top surgery, me getting through that, and now her shoulder surgery and her getting through that. And then we'll, we'll be good again and, and we're blessed as always. But um, I want you guys to know that uh, I'm thinking about you guys. Hope your journeys are working out for you. Take it one day at a time and make it as simple as possible, all right? Take care until the next time, guys. Bye.